Hi, this is Grant Polachek with Microshare INTL. This is strategy number four of the seven strategies that your competition doesn't want you to know. If you haven't seen our other strategies yet, make sure you go back re and review them. Strategy number four is capture attention and search engine rankings with content. Humans and spiders, oh my! Here's how this works. You're writing for two distinct groups. First, you're writing for people who are humans who are going to be persuaded by great copy. Next, you're also writing for search engine spiders. What that means is search engines have automated systems that go out and they crawl your content to see what is there so they know where to rank you. Here's how this works. Let's say you're searching for Barrington Painters and you want to know why this first website, Barrington Painters Choose the Best, is showing up as number one. Well, click Cached and look at it. As you can see, this is my website and the reason it's ranked number one is because I told Google exactly what I wanted. Look, I want to be in Barrington. Is Google going to be confused when I write Barrington all over the place? I also want to be in Painters. Here it is. Here it is. This is why Google's ranking me, because I'm telling it exactly what I want. You guys probably don't know this, but I just got married. And sometimes I think my wife should know exactly what I want when I want it. And you guys know that that doesn't work very well. I have to tell her what I want if I want her to do it, if I want to get something. And that's how Google is. It can't read your mind. It doesn't know where you want to be ranked. Tell Google by including the keywords that you want to be ranked for in your website. So what's next? Here are the nine content writing rules. The first thing you got to do is you have to write great content. You're writing for humans. They have lots and lots of things coming at them all the time. Information overload. You have to write a title that catches their attention and gets them excited about what they're about to read. Here's the trick. Find a magazine in your industry. Magazines make most of their money by catching your attention when you're standing in line at a grocery store or something like that. They know that you're standing there, they know you have nothing to do, so they put great headlines out that are going to catch your attention and you're going to say, I really want to know what that article is about. You're going to buy the magazine, you're going to take it home. So find those magazines in your industry and see what they're doing. Don't steal their headlines, but take their format, the nine best. Whatever it is that they're using, you should use it too. Next is keyword rich. You know it. Use your keywords. Use them in your headlines. Use them in your subheads. Use them in your content. Be interesting. If somebody comes to your website, you're not going to be capturing their attention. They're moving on quickly. There are so many websites out there. You have to be interesting. Next, know your audience. What I do is I have an ideal audience member in my head. I know what they look like. I know what they sound like. I know what they like. I write to that one person each and every time. Know your audience and write to them. That gives you voice. Talk about pain points. Everybody, everybody, everybody coming to you has some degree of pain. Once you've found their pain, talk about it. If you can tell somebody more about their pain than they can explain themselves, you are immediately going to gain credibility. They're going to like you and they're going to think you can solve their problem. The next thing you have to do is you have to give away value. If you don't have free stuff that's going to be valuable to your customer on your website, easily available, they're going to go find it somewhere else. Use your best stuff, give it away for free, and that's how you build credibility and trust. Then when they're ready to buy, they're going to come back knowing that you're the expert. If you're not giving it away for free, they're just going to go find it somewhere else. Differentiate. What makes you different than Joe Schmo down the street? Tell people that you have a great product that's different and valuable. Reassure. Here's a really nice internet marketing secret that a lot of people aren't using. People with pain, 
people who are going to buy something also have insecurity. Tell them it's not their fault. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to fix their problem. Give them that warm, fuzzy feeling. Next, have a clear call to action. I've been to so many websites that I love them, I'm excited by them, but I don't know what to do next. Tell people clearly what's next, what do you want them to do. So those are the nine content rules. Use them, love them, live them, create great content. Thank you. Sign up for my YouTube and I'll send you some more videos.